Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jordan Van Forest and Nils Grandelius. This is a game from the Tata Steel tournament played in 2021. Jordan Van Forest had white pieces and he started with e4. Grandelius played c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, and now a6, the Nidorf variation. White to move. The next move, played by Jordan, is not even among 10 most played moves. The move is queen to d3. Nobody thought highly about this move before. The game continued, the knight from b to d7, bishop to e2, b5, a4, knight to c5 attacking the queen, queen to e3, b4 attacking the defender of the pawn on e4, knight to d5, and black won the pawn on e4, knight on c takes on e4, white to move, Perhaps knight takes pawn on b4 was expected. There was another surprise. a5. Let's take it back. If knight takes on b4, then e5, intending d5. So perhaps to avoid d5 immediately, white would have to play knight from d to c6, and then queen to c7 by black. Back to our game. So a5 was played, knight takes knight on d5, queen takes on e4, e6. This is quite an unusual Neidorf game. White developed three of his pieces and black only one. But black has two center pawns and white has zero. The game continued. Castling, black to move. Bishop to d7 was played. Bishop to b7 would be a better move. One line goes like this. Bishop to c4, queen to c8, forcing the white queen to go somewhere else like queen to d3 and then bishop to e7. Black is fine. Back to our game. Bishop to d7. Bishop to d2. Bishop to e7, bishop to f3, castling, queen to d3. The threat may be bishop takes knight. Queen to b8, defending the pawn on b4. c4, b takes on c3, and passan, b takes on c3, rook to a7. Rook from f to b1. Let's take it back. Surely Jordan considered the bishop takes on d5, doubling the pawns, then e takes on d5, but it seems that white doesn't get a big advantage in this variation. Back to our game. So we have rook from f to b1, keeping the tension. The queen is under attack, queen to c8, c4, knight to f6. The first impression is that black is okay, but Jordan played an amazing move that changed all that. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please don't pause. The move is knight to b5. This was a killer move. Black to move. A takes on b5. Let's take it back. How about bishop takes on b5? Then c takes on b5, a takes on b5, bishop to e3, rook to a6, queen takes on b5, white stands better. Back to our game. So Gandelius played the obvious move, pawn takes knight, c takes on b5. White sacrificed the knight to connect pawns and to roll them down the board. Black to move. Bishop takes on b5 was played. Let's take it back. How about knight to d5? Knight to d5 is good if white plays b6 immediately. 
The knight takes on b6 and after a takes on b6, rook takes rook. Rook takes rook, d5. And black is maybe okay. But let's go back. In this position, instead of b6, white can play bishop takes knight. And after e takes on d5, then b6. And white is better. Back to our game. Bishop takes on b5, queen takes on b5, knight to d7, bishop to b7 attacking the queen, the queen to d8, a6. It is obvious that white stands better, isn't it? Bishop to f6 attacking the rook, bishop to a5 attacking the queen, queen to e8, white to move. Perhaps some players would play rook to a2, saving the rook. Very logical move. Instead, bishop to c7, allowing black to take the rook. Bishop takes rook, rook takes rook, d5, bishop to d6, queen to d8. Why to move? Some players would just take the rook on f8. Rook to c1, this is even better than taking the rook. g6, h3. Perhaps to avoid future back rank problems. Rook to e8, rook to c7, knight to f6, bishop to e5, knight to e4, queen to c6, threatening rook to c8 in some variations. Rook to f8, white to move, white can play rook to c8, this seems like a logical move, doesn't it? And then black would probably play queen to e7. White stands better. Back to our game. Jordan played bishop to d4, threatening to take the rook. And much more. Queen to b8, defending the rook. f3, attacking the knight. The position looks lost for black. But Gandelius continue to fight. Rook takes on a6. Bishop takes on a6. Queen to b4. Attacking the bishop and threatening queen to e1. Check in some variations. Bishop to e5. Well, that is better than f takes on e4. Then queen takes on d4. Check. And after king to h2, queen to e5. Check. This is not the variation Jordan wanted to have. So he played bishop to e5, removing the target, not afraid of the next move, which was queen to e1 check, king to h2, knight to f2, discovered attack on the bishop, threatening queen to h1 check. Jordan played the most logical move, queen to c3, defending the bishop and offering to trade queens. Queen to h1, check, king to g3, queen to g1, threatening knight to h1, check, and then queen takes pawn on g2. White to move, how would you continue? Jordan played rook to c8, knight to h1, check, king to h4, and now queen to f2, check. Well, if queen takes on g2, then what happens then? Then rook takes rook check, and after king takes rook, queen to b4 check, king to e8, bishop to b5 check, king to d8, queen to f8 check, mate. Back to our game. Queen on f2 check, g3, g5 check, king takes on g5, f6, a deflection tactic. Why to move? How would you continue? Jordan played king to h6. Bishop takes on f6. Move is not recommended. Then the queen takes on g3. And believe it or not, black wins like this. King to h5. Queen takes pawn on h3. Check. King to g5. Queen to f5. Check. King to h4. Queen to f4. Check. King to h5. Knight to g3. Check mate. Back to our game. So you wouldn't play the best move. 
king to h6, f takes on e5. White played a move, and black resigned, and the move is queen takes on e5, defending the pawn on g3 and threatening checkmate on g7. Grandelius resigned in view of this continuation. Queen to a7, preventing white from playing queen to g7, checkmate. But in this position, white has this also move available. Queen to h8, check. And after king takes queen. Rook takes rook, check, mate. Jordan 1. Forest 1 against Anish Giri in the tiebreak, winning the Tata Steel tournament. Congratulations, Jordan. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.